The MFSU is the third tier of energy storage device available. It's one tier above the MFE. If you're learning how to use industrial craft energy for the first time, I recommend that you start with the bat box and not the MFSU. The performance behaviors of the bat box are the same with a lot of the higher level energy storage devices, making the bat box an ideal device to start with. Now I'm not going to bore you with the step-by-step -step crafting instructions, I found it's much easier just to follow the recipe diagrams either in-game or on the wikis. Once you have created an MFSU and placed it, you can change the orientation of it by right clicking on one of the blank faces with an industrial craft wrench. It can be picked up by right clicking on it twice with the wrench, but if you hit it with a pickaxe it will only drop a machine block. Just be aware that any energy inside the MFSU will be permanently lost at any time when it's picked up. The MFSU can store up to 10 million industrial craft energy units, making it capable of handling high level energy operations. They will accept power input through cables connected to any one of five input faces. You'll notice that one of the sides has a brown dot on it. Now this side is reserved for energy output only and connecting an input cable to it won't do anything at all. The MFSU can receive up to 512 energy units per packet and will also output at a rate of 512 energy units per packet. Now, before you connect the MFSU to your energy network, be aware that the 512 energy units per packet size exceeds the maximum capacity of the copper, tin, and gold cables. So if you try to extract any energy from the MFSU via one of those cables, they'll be destroyed almost instantly. Instead, you're only able to use HV cables or high voltage cables and glass fiber cables. Now, although high voltage cables are cheaper than glass fiber cables, the energy loss over a distance is very high. So just be aware of this when you're setting up your energy network. It's important to note that the low and medium voltage industrial craft machines can only support a maximum input of 32 and 128 energy units per packet, so this means they'll be destroyed instantly if you try to power them directly from the MFSU. To stop this from happening you have a couple of options. Now the easiest way is to connect low or medium voltage transformers between your MFSU and your machines, and the other option is to use transformer upgrades, although in some setups this may become very expensive.